welcome to the live premiere of ACS Cobham Performing Arts' first short film, Promposal. The night will proceed as follows. First, we have some speakers to welcome you. Then we will watch our The Making of Promposal video featuring interviews with the cast and some behind the scenes footage. Then we will watch the film together for the first time. And finally, we will end the evening with a short question and answer session with our screenwriter, Beth Inlation, and our director, Lewis Russell. Now I'd like to hand over to our Head of Performing Arts, Dr. Nell. A very warm, wintry welcome to all of you at this evening's very special event, the premiere showing of our high school movie project, Promposal. This has been a very exciting project for us. Uh, many people have worked together to create this and I want to take the opportunity to thank them for their work. I'd like to thank the staff who've worked hard helping the students create this, to our artist in residence team who've worked with the students on this project, to the parents who've supported it, and of course, to all of the student performers who've helped create and star in it. So congratulations to all of you. We do look forward to watching the final product. I hope this has been a, a very good learning opportunity for you and a great deal of fun as well. I certainly enjoyed what I was able to see from the sidelines. I've got nothing else to say other than lights, camera, action. And here are a few words from our head of school, Mr. Sandow. Hello, uh, on behalf of ACS Cobham and the Performing Arts Department, I'd like to take this opportunity to say a big thank you to Darren and Karen Mori, who have made a, a very generous donation that enabled this film to happen. This fantastic opportunity uh, was brought to you with the help of three visiting artists that they funded that have uh, exposed our students to the very best of industry practice that we hope will inform their own career pathways and, and the choices that they go on to make. And what's more, we hope will add immeasurably to your own enjoyment of this evening. Uh, it gives us great pride to introduce this agile project that has been born out of the challenges that all of us have faced in the last year. And uh, we hope that you really, really enjoy the show. Thank you, Mr. Sandow. And now here's our high school principal, Mr. Bordagi Bell, with a message for us. Good evening. I'm thrilled to welcome you for la première of the high school movie project, Promposal. Uh, I want to take a moment to recognize and celebrate the absolutely fantastic effort to put this film together. Um, and, and it really is inspiring uh, to, to watch this amount of collaboration, and professionalism geared towards the same objective. Now, I'm sure that you are ready as I am uh, to, to watch this final product. Uh, my popcorn is ready and uh, enjoy the film. Throughout the project, we were able to capture some of the process, the casting, devising and the rehearsals. So we'd like to share some of that footage with you now to give you a sense of how the film was created. So please enjoy the making of Promposal. Hi, my name is Georgia Sedell and I teach drama, uh, I teach high school drama. This film project came about um, when we were thinking about doing a uh, musical this year and we thought, oh no, that's not going to be possible because we can't have kids on stage singing together, we can't bring an audience in, so we really had to rethink um, what we were going to do this year to give the kids an opportunity to still perform and um, be a part of something. Um, so we hired um, a writer called Beth Nation and she um, has done lots of writing for BBC Wales and um, she came in and got to know the kids. It has been absolutely brilliant. I have loved working with the kids, they've been fantastic. Um, we started out doing some brainstorming, see what kind of ideas they had, so I could see what ideas they were most drawn to. And then we sort of narrowed that down and then we chose one. We started devising and improvising with the kids and they came up with some amazing ideas, um, some of which has made it into the script itself. So it's been very much inspired by the way that they talk and the ideas that they had. And then worked with them on their ideas, what did they want the film to be about. 
and they came up with this idea that um, we would do a film about uh, prom. Um, well, I definitely think it's like a mix of a little bit of everything. It, it's really like just a feel-good film, and it's sort of like it kind of encompasses like ten things I hate about you, and like the '90s and that kind of like era, and just like that kind of like nostalgia. I think personally. Yeah, I think it was basically about. Um, a school that takes prom proposals way too seriously, so someone decided to bet on them, which is the character Mike, and they they do this whole betting competition, and at the end it's about the most popular popular guy asking out this girl, which yeah, it's a really interesting film. Yeah, I think uh, it's a pretty funny take on prom proposals in modern day life. Oh, oh my god, is that of the 348 people that are already bossing me out now? I mean, I'll put him maybe on like the okay maybe list, but definitely not on the yes list because he's not there yet. From there, we did a little bit of scene work on camera. There was this moment last year where I thought maybe you liked me and I wanted you back, and but then I was too scared to tell you how I felt. And then you met Charlie. It's really hard seeing you two together every day. What is it, Jordan? I don't know how to lie. Well, you've come to the right place. How can I be of service? Well, lying is a crucial life skill, but the biggest liar I know won't teach me. Wrong. Yes, I will. Jordan, hey! Hey, I can't stand. Ah, oh, no way. That's such a shame. So, what are you up to? I'm actually on my way to Hong Kong. Ooh, nice. For my granddad's funeral. Oh, I'm so sorry. Really, all of it is is the kids and their ideas and their thoughts, um, which is really lovely. Um, and then even the choreography, we even had some girls kind of choreograph their own um, dance, and that's included in the film as well. Um, they came forward with costume ideas. Um, yeah, it was all it was all from them really. Give me a P. thought the filming process was a lot like what I thought it was going to be. People were like, oh, well, I bet you didn't expect it to take this long. I was like, no, I knew that it took a lot of takes and that there was a lot of like minutiae that sort of worked their way into it. Um, I definitely thought it was, I don't know. I feel like when you see it in media, there's always a lot of like yelling on set and like the director's like da 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 da. But I found that our director was a he was a really nice guy, and that the rest of the crew was really supportive. And just the whole cast was really, like, supportive and, like, worked well with each other. Which, yeah, I wouldn't say I really expected. Normally I would say about three, three takes. But then sometimes there are certain uh, shots which are more technical. Yeah, I would say at the beginning it was a bit more pressure because obviously saying the lines like over and over, they start to get like mushed in your brain. And then with all the crew, you don't want to mess up your line. But I would say that like the whole cast was pretty much in most of the scenes. So it was pretty much a community and we were all kind of in it together. Did you see what just happened? Lauren totally turned down Jack. I mean like, I'm not surprised. He's, she's so out of his league. Like, have you seen her? She's gorgeous. And he's just like one of those geek kids, you know? It was like working with a professional uh, cast. Um, they really were, I think because we had um, 15 crew members in the room, that really kind of set the tone that this is a professional piece and we've got to act professionally and we've got to, um, you know, know our lines and we've got to be prepared and we've got to be professional and um, stay in the zone and um, it was quite, it was quite a high pressured environment but they definitely um, stepped up and they were just incredible. They were acting like professional actors and all the crew actually mentioned that um, they were so professional. Okay, so I think that like Chad's gonna ask me out because like he's just been so sweet and like nice and like Regina, like my best friend, she I don't think she believes me, but she jokes. But I think he's gonna like come to me with a little banner and like dance in the back because I'm a cheerleader and he's gonna be like, Will you come to prom with me? And I'm gonna say yes, obviously, and I'm just excited. The atmosphere that was created around us, like the whole production, like company and everything, and all the people that we just got to like hang out with. 
Yeah, I think honestly, it kind of it's kind of like a family, which is kind of like cliche and like everyone says that. But I think it was all super like nice at the end, and it just felt amazing, honestly. Definitely. I mean, these are the people that we have to get used to because we're sort of you know the theater kids at school. So <laughs> we're going to be around each other a lot. So it's good to get the first production to get to know each other. Composal? Me, of course. It has to be huge, roses, and it better be one of the football players who I'm cheering at the game. I had lots of proud moments um, when I was watching. There's a student and all his lines have been written by him. My perfect promposal. Ricky comes to me. He says, boss, granddad, here's your money. I take the money and I drive off into the sunset. Seeing him make the crew laugh, genuinely really laugh, and having to do retakes because everyone was laughing, I was like, wow, this is really awesome that, you know, someone who maybe last year um, didn't think that they were capable of doing that, but now is um, having this impact on a professional crew was really nice. Well, my character, he's kind of friends with the main girl of the film. Um, he's kind of in it to, well, he supports his friend, but then he's also trying to pick up chicks, uh, as they say. Um, and like, he's really into rom-com, so he's off like, oh, I have this pickup line and that pickup line. And that's like his main goal. And it's about the mo Mostly it's about the man and woman creating a relationship. Uh, my favorite scene is definitely the end. Uh, it's so feel good. I don't want to give too much away, but there is a really cool drone shot. Um, and everyone's in the final scene. And um, yeah, it's really lovely, really feel good. And I think everyone will walk away feeling really happy, which is nice. <laughs> Okay, so I'll go up and I'll be like, hey. No, no, wait, that, no, that's weird. I'll be like, hey, why am I doing the hand thing? I'm sorry, uh, I'll be like, hey, no, that's too low, that's gross, that's gross. Um, hi, is that your word? I don't know. The whole movie is about promposals and people promposing to each other. So my character actually bets on people and uh, she's like very optimistic. It was just really fun and I just loved seeing it all to come together. Um, I would also say the <laughs> end dance scene because it was exciting having everyone together in one scene because I don't think everyone was in one scene until that moment. And the dance was just genuinely like fun to learn as well, but it was like still easy, so it was fun doing it. <laughs> I definitely want to go to drama school and try and be an actor, but you know, stuff happens. But I definitely, that's definitely in my trajectory for um, my future. I've always loved acting and being on camera and everything. I've, I've always done that since I was like three years old. I've always taken videos on my mom's phone of me. Um, singing or dancing or acting um, and I would really love to become an actress when I'm older. There are so many talented kids in the film and I think when you watch the film that you'll kind of just see what I'm talking about because they all they were all awesome and I think that they'll all do so well um, and it's so nice for them to actually have this um, uh, footage to use if they do want to go and approach an agent or um, you know think about acting professionally they, they can actually use this um, to help them in their professional careers if that's what they choose to do. So here's what we've all been waiting for. The first ever screening of Promposal. I hope you have your popcorn ready. Enjoy.